Uh, good afternoon, Your Worship. Hi, John. How are you? Good. Congrats on the win. Uh, did you send all those plays in from the bench? <laughs> no, I have an offensive coordinator that does that. So oh, okay. All sure right. Well, good for you. Now, uh, if I had to sum up what people are saying so far, and we've got lots of people that are on the occasion of your anniversary, uh, you know, I asked them, I said specifically, I don't want to hear just bad or just good. Give me one thing of each that they like and one thing they don't like so much. On the good side, and I'd like you to comment, if you would, on this, they've said you keep your promises, and they've talked about different things you've done with the taxes and the contracting out and so on. And on the not-so-good side, they want to see you work more with the council and uh, have um, a more sort of cooperative environment over there in terms of getting some things done. How do you respond to that? Well, I campaigned on uh, contracting out garbage. I did that. The labor deal, um, you know, I thought that was going to be very difficult, but I was the only mayor out of uh, Lashman and Miller that could do it. We got a four-year labor deal. Um, we're saving 150 million dollars just on the labor deal. We won't have any labor disruption for four years. Contracting out garbage, we're saving 12 million dollars a year. I got rid of the car tax. We found 336 million dollars of permanent savings. So our deficit was was 776 million that I inherited. We're halfway through that, and in the next two years, we'll wipe out the whole deficit. So. Um, I, I campaigned on bringing uh, financial stability back to City Hall, putting more money in the taxpayers' pockets, and that's exactly what I've done, and, and I can continue to do it uh, for the next two years and the next four years after that. So uh, I think um, 80%, 85% of what I campaigned on, um, I, I'm getting through, and uh, I can't wait for the next election to start. All right, I'll be honest with you. I, when they asked me this morning about this early on, I said, well, I thought on the substance you'd done exactly those things, and they were things that really needed to be done, but that sometimes it was like sausage-making. Um, people weren't enjoying watching it. And a lot of the callers that have called this afternoon have said that. They said it, it's partly about you, but it's partly about the whole council, and they're saying, look, you as the mayor should take the opportunity to work more closely with these people and try to get along better with them so that there are even more things that could be done in a cooperative way between you and not every single councillor, but enough that you can win uh, votes. Well, I, I think I just listed a whole list of things that we did reach out to councillors on. So they did support contracting out garbage and reducing their own office budgets from 53000 to 30000 reducing mine from seven uh, $2.7 million down to $2 million, saving 700000 there. So I sort of uh, beg to differ. I've reached out a lot to uh, the councillors that disagree with me. You know, the only thing we had a major disagreement on is uh, streetcars and subways. And now they're starting to come around. As of yesterday, they want the downtown relief subway line. They want to review Shepherd subway. They want to review Finch subway. They want to review Eglinton subway. So I think the people, the taxpayers are calling their councillors and saying, listen, you don't change your mind on these subways, you won't have a job in two years. So I, I've been more than, uh, you know, gracious and weak in reaching out to the councillors and uh, you're never going to agree on everything, but uh, I, I get along with all the councillors and I have no problem. If you have specific examples, uh, I'd be more than happy to address them. But uh, generally speaking, I, I think I uh, do a great job in reaching out. Okay. And uh, what about for the next two years? I mean, when, and I think it's true to say the major items that were in your platform have, in fact, been implemented. And that did require you, obviously, to win votes at the City Council to get those done. Um, the other 20%, uh, you talked a lot about customer service. There's some things to be done there. And I know that's something that's a very keen uh, interest to you. And will that be something that will be at the top of your agenda going forward? That and economic oh. development, perhaps? No, you're absolutely right. It's economic strategy. You know, we, we launched a comprehensive review of the Toronto's uh, economic strategy um, last month. You look at uh, the 2000 level uh, economic roundtable that uh, we had. We're about, it's about securing jobs, creating jobs. We just had a very successful uh, trade mission to Chicago, and we're taking a leadership role in the GTA's bears. Uh, you know, in part of your group, too, the Civic Action uh, Caucus meetings there. So we are moving forward in a positive way. We still have to find efficiencies. We've got to get rid of this deficit. We have to have, you know, hopefully 0% uh, property tax increases. People just can't afford all, all these tax increases. A lot of people can't keep their head above water right now. So, And we have to get subways done. Um, we have to get rid of that land transfer tax. That's going to be very challenging. But if I can do 10%, 10%, eventually we can knock it off. So... You know, we've still got a lot of work to be done, John, and it's going to take a lot longer than two years. I'm going to need at least another four or five years to complete exactly what I campaigned uh, to do uh, for two years ago. So, uh, But I feel very confident, and, and I think the voters feel confident. So, you know, I, I'm not perfect. I've made a, you know, a couple of stupid mistakes. I shouldn't be talking on my cell phone when I'm driving. I shouldn't be, you know, reading a speech that I have to deliver in 10 minutes on. You know, I think we're all in that situation that, uh, you know, we have to do that stuff, uh, unfortunately, as politicians sometimes, but that doesn't make it right. So I uh, No, and unfortunately, they take your picture doing it, whereas most other people get away with doing it without having their picture taken. Yeah, right. no, you're absolutely right. Anyway, but well, you know what? It's, it's up to me to press that up, and I, 
I'm sure you always take care of those uh, minor things. Well, you know, I think a lot of people will be encouraged to hear you say that you recognize that those things are, you know, people do have some negative reaction, and that's the kind of thing sometimes they name when I ask them to say, well, what's the one thing you're not so happy with? So if you recognize it, they'll be very heartened to hear that. Thank you, Your Worship.